They play in Arlington, but tonight your Texas Rangers are going to try to connect the Metroplex in a bigger, better way. Players are going to be wearing the club's all-new City Connect uniforms tonight. This will be a Friday night deal. It's part of the debut. An abandoned piece of baseball history, though, has found its way into their promotional campaign. Our Jason Allen gives you the inside story. Home. The place that matters most. In unveiling their all new look from Nike. These are our roots. The Texas Rangers went back to something old. And in these quick nostalgic snaps gave a baseball field a position in a time when it's largely been put on the bench. Because it's a baseball jersey, we wanted to tell a baseball story. And further, we wanted to tell our origin story. That origin happened in part at Fort Worth's LaGrave Field on the site of where various teams, going back to the Fort Worth Panthers, have played over the years. And while it looks nearly playable in the new promo, in real life, it's not nearly game ready. Overgrown, damaged by fires and floods, vandalized since its last baseball days almost 10 years ago. That gave me chills. That's awesome. <laughs> not that there hasn't been interest in restoring it. They make it look like you know, appealing and exciting, and it's like, yeah, and I'm like, let's focus on when it looked like that. Hayden Clark worked as the mascot for the Fort Worth Cats, the last team to play here, and her mother's been running an online page for years to save the stadium, and maybe, she said, this gives that effort a little energy, a push for another team to once again call this field home. And when we see LaGrave and revisited that place, again, you can't help but just feel kind of the sense of community that ballparks like that provide. Weren't any real camera tricks, no real digital tricks in that video from the Rangers, uh, Doug and Nicole, just some creative camera work and that stadium holding on to just enough of its former self that you can recognize it and it was worthy of including being included in this campaign. Man, I got to tell you, you got me thinking back to my days with my kids. We used to go see the cats play there. Uh, there was a time, yeah. right? So yeah. is there any talk of a grave maybe it could be restored? Obviously, it takes money or any other plans for it that you're hearing about? Always a chance. Short answer, at least right now, is no. Now, there have been some groups over the years that have talked about buying it, bringing it back. The Tarrant Regional Water District owns it, and there's some land around the stadium that's for sale right now. But at least right now, no plans to either sell the stadium or restore it in any way, Doug. A little, little uh, trip down the uh, nostalgia lane. We appreciate it, Jason. Thanks so much.